All right, millions of players have already journeyed on billions of quests, but with the latest release from the Elder Scrolls Online, the open world of Nim just got opened even wider. This is one Tamriel. A new era dawns in Tamriel. One without borders, without limits. Welcome to one Tamriel. Right. And now welcome the director of ESO, Matt Fire. Matt, uh, great to have you out here. Thanks, Thanks for coming great by. To be here. Big to be here. week for you Love guys. Thanks, man. Well, it's it, this this game is it's amazing the community that you guys have built around this. Obviously, everyone has loved the Elder Scrolls for many years, but then uh, Todd Howard passed the baton over to you guys <laughs> to carry uh, it forward here, uh, at least for the next little while, it sounds like, uh, with Elder Scrolls Online. And this week, uh, just yesterday, one Tamriel sort of uh, became a part of the Elder Scrolls Online universe on PC. I know it's coming out to console um, in, in just a, uh, a couple weeks here. Tell us, what for people that don't know, one Tamriel, that basically opens up the game, uh, takes down all the walls between the different... Yeah, it, it, it basically... Um, you remember that moment when you played Oblivion or you played Skyrim when you, uh, you got out of the tutorial, like the Imperial Prison in Oblivion, yep. and the world was wide open. You could go anywhere you wanted. You could do whatever you wanted to do. That's what One Tamriel does to Elder Scrolls Online. So it takes leveling out out of a, out of the player's mind. Really, they can uh, um, they don't have to worry about what level things are. They can just go, and the game actually makes sure that uh, that they're leveled appropriately for the content that they're doing. So really, it's about freedom. They can really do what they want. And that's. I would think is a pretty major change to sort of the structure of the game uh, and the world. So tell us, how did it go yesterday when you sort of flipped this on? Uh, it's it's been going well. Obviously, okay. there there's some little little problems here and there. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, running a massive game like this is a big update. But yeah, we've been very happy at the way it's going. Um, we we actually have been using the technology behind the scenes for this for our DLC for okay. about a year now. So like our DLC Orsinium yeah. had this same technology in it, and uh, and so it's very well tested. So it, it's been going very well. All right, so PC first, console soon. Uh, you're also adding dueling, which is something that uh, is, is a new feature that people are excited about, yeah, right? And, and, and that's just fun. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's really where uh, two people who aren't on enemy alliances or aren't engaging in PvP can actually PvP each other just for fun. Because, you know, uh, everybody's been there in an online game. You're, you're, you're at a dungeon. Uh, there's, there's, there's four people in a group, but only three are there, and the fourth person, you know... Uh, is taking a break, you can't find them. So what do you do? You can actually fight each other now. You can actually just uh, throw the banner down and you can start fighting to see, to see who's better. So it's a lot of fun. Now, I, I'm sure you have a whiteboard somewhere at the office with all these ideas <laughs> of features that, you know, what the community wants, what you guys think. Uh, this is, you know, a living, breathing world. One thing that you guys have been teasing, I know even at E3 you announced coming, you know, I think, I think you said next year or early next year, is housing. Um, which is a, a highly requested feature, obviously, for um, the fans. Yeah, um, yeah. housing is, you know, something that when you think about giant online RPGs and MMOs, yeah. that's something that, uh, that players love. And it all goes back to being social. You know, one Tamriel is about being social, because now you can group with more people. You, uh, we dropped alliance restrictions, so, so you have more people you can group with, more people you can play with. Housing is, is kind of a, an evolution after that, which is I, I now own a piece of Tamriel. Yeah. I want to invite my friends to it. You know, I, I, want, I want it to be kind of the centerpiece of, uh, of what I do in the game. Okay. And so, um, as you can see from the, from the pictures you're seeing, yeah. um, the houses are, are alliance base, or, um, race based. So we have a small, medium, and large house for, uh, for each race. Um, and there are, of course, uh, uh, 10 races in, in, uh, in uh -huh. Tamriel. Um, uh, the way we're going to do it is uh, any player can go on a quest when housing launches um, early next year and, uh, and can get an apartment for free okay. uh, as, as, kind of, as kind of their starter home. Then they can um, buy with in-game gold, they can buy better houses. And uh, the coolest thing that we're adding, though, is we're adding a furniture crafting. So if you're a crafter, uh -huh. you can actually make furniture for other players and for yourself to, uh, uh, to put in your home and decorate it. Okay. And you're going to be able to decorate your home with hundreds of items. And we're going to add share with more other folks as well. And share with other people as well. You can okay. invite people into your house. You can sell your, your furniture to other people if you want. 
You can also own multiple homes in, in different parts of Tamriel if you want. And uh, also, um, the houses are account-based, not character-based. So okay. if you create a new character, you can actually go into all your houses to, um, because you're kind of part of the family. And you can obviously visit someone's house even if they're not online. Right? Yeah, just and, and guilds are, um, are going to take advantage of this because there are some pretty big houses out there. And you can have guild meetings in your house if you, if you invite them in. Um, and it's just it's a cool social thing. And players just, just love to kind of own a piece of the game. And this is their way to do it. Wow. Well, it lo I mean, it looks just absolutely beautiful to see what people can do. And then the furniture inside as well. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. And we're going to uh, um, to let them decorate kind of any way they want. Um, we're still working internally kind of on, 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 on how the mechanics of that are going to work. But, yeah. you know, the philosophy is give them a whole lot of cool things and then uh, allow them to put them in the house uh, however they want. All right. Well, this is music to the ears of uh, many <laughs> players, I'm sure, who can't wait to check that out next year. Now, uh, as they wait to build their houses and craft their furniture, you guys are starting a new uh, promotion, which is, is pretty amazing. Uh, tell us about this trip of a lifetime giveaway, which is like, you can go to Kenya, you, there's like yeah. many yeah, spots. It, you know, it, it's, it's all part of one, one Tamriel, which yeah. is you can go anywhere. Um, we're, we're tying that into the real world with the, with the trip of a lifetime, and we're going to allow five grand prize winners to go to five different areas. Uh, they can pick one of them. Um, and these areas have been, have been selected on Earth, for, for being like areas in, in Tamriel. So for example, if you really like Skyrim, the, the province, you can pick the all-inclusive trip to Switzerland up, up in the mountains in the snow. Um, you can go to Tanzania and Kenya on another all-inclusive trip um, uh, to visit the Khajiit because it's like elsewhere in, uh, in the Elder Scrolls world. You can go to Morocco if, 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 you're, if you're into uh, Red Guard. So. And I, so I'm gonna be able to win a trip of a lifetime what do I have to do to win? All you have to do is, uh, is go register on the website and then okay. play and then log into the game one time between now and December. That's all well, I remember last year you had a million reasons yep. to play. We were talking about the Game Awards. This is uh, yep. this pretty is kind spectacular. Of the, uh, yeah, but this, this ties directly into what we're doing in One Tamriel, yeah. which is we're letting people go anywhere, and now we're five lucky people will actually get to go to, to these places. All right. Well, lots for the fans to do. We can't yep. wait to see uh, where you guys go with Elder Scrolls Online. I'm sure there's a... A very long plan ahead of you. <laughs> there uh, is. Lots of great features, but I know the fans are, are really enjoying it. So, Matt, thank you for coming by. Congrats on the launch. Thank you. And we'll hope to see you again soon. Uh, all right, we'll still.